Spencer Yates, pro wrestling has always had colourful people in it. You've always said never let the truth get in the way of a good story. However, I yes. don't think anyone would consider you a liar. We have all heard the tall tales <laughs> from guys like Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Bruce Pritchard, Shawn Michaels, Greg Garnier, Paul Heyman, Mike Graham, Manny Fernandez and Dusty Rhodes. Some fun little stories, others just straight up bullshit. But I would love to know who you, uh, would be on your Mount Rushmore of wrestling liars. Thank you very much. Well, Ric Flair would hold the number one spot. And what would he lie about? Uh, because you've said that before. I mean, obviously, everything he lies about everything. You say, Rick, sun shining, no, it's dark as hell. And you could look out and say, Well, it's 12 o'clock in daytime. Oh, I didn't say that. He'll deny saying it. <laughs> but everything, and I've said on, on our last podcast, <clears throat> Rick Flair is a damn narcissistic bastard, really. Because I don't know, care what the story is, it will come back to him as the main feature of the story. Oh, so and so died. Oh, yeah, it's a good day. But you know, I helped that guy do this and this and this and this. And you know, it's all it, it all comes around back, back to Rick, and he cannot tell the the truth. I don't think he's capable of telling the truth. Because he said, I remember the the worst thing he ever said was he was there when Bruiser Brody got killed. Everybody, and you can research that. Now he's finally come out and said, no, I really wasn't there, but I was going to go there. Okay. <clears throat> That's probably truthful, but he didn't want to say that. He said he was there and this is what happened. And so he's in the number one spot on the Mount Rushmore of, uh, wrestling Not, liars, uh, non-truthful, non-truthful people. I, I I want to qualify that. Ric Flair, when he said that, it was on an RF video shoot. When he said, "Oh yeah, I was there," and even yep. the guy who's asking the questions was like, well, "Were you? Oh yeah, I was definitely there." And then yeah. he later claimed that he never said he was there, even though he said it on video. So yeah, sorry, uh, but number two. Okay, number two is a guy that we talked about last week <laughs> that didn't mean anything by anything malicious by saying this, this, and this, but according to him, he he's done everything is my old tag team partner, Bobby Jaggers. And he was, but I overlooked his non-truths as, as entertainment. Oh, and then we got to a point, he would say something and I would agree with him. And I would go like, oh, did you do this? Oh yeah, I did that. And then because he's been everywhere, he's done everything, but at least he told stories that you knew were not true, but he was so entertaining when he did it that I overlooked it. Give me the rest of that list. Of what this fellow Spencer Yates has said, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Bruce Pritchard, Shawn Michaels, Greg Garnier, Paul Heyman, Mike Graham, Manny Fernandez, Dusty okay. Rhodes. Hulk Hogan is the next one. He is, I mean, he embellishes every story, which I am really an advocate for. <laughs> never let the truth, you mentioned it earlier, never let the truth get in the way of a great story. But at least people tell stories that are somewhat believable, just a little bit. Uh, and Flair and Hogan both have that same attribute of, you know, I want to be the center of this. And they're always, they always are. Okay, another one. Give me another one. Do you want the list again? Yep. No, well, not the ones I've named. Uh, Bruce Pritchard, Sean, I don't know why Sean Michaels, uh, Greg Garnier, Paul Heyman, Mike Gray, Manny Fernandez, Dusty Rhodes. Well, I, I'm going to have to pick. I don't know what Mike Graham has said, but I, I've read some of the things he said. He's way off base, too. Totally off base. He's not with us anymore. I'm not going to talk uh, bad about him, but he could really take a true story and twist it to where it's, I don't know, he, he would change the whole story. That you know, he would tell people of, of something that happened and they were there too. So, and Manny was another one, but he's still, he's entertaining guy. But 
And I, I would put in the fourth spot, Paul Heyman, because he's told guys that work for him that, this and this and this is going to happen. And they wanted to be in wrestling so badly. They would go into debt to keep wrestling. And one of them was Chris Candido. Chris Candido. I don't know if he actually told me, but he said he had something like he would help. He would help uh, Paul with the tickets to buying airline tickets. And he said he put $31,000 of tickets on his card, but he never, he never, Paul never paid him. So that's why he was, when I went to Puerto Rico, that's why he was down there on the beach, sleeping on the beach, didn't even have a place to stay. And I'm saying, damn, has it come to this? Of course, Paul, he didn't, he won't say anything about it, but but I did I did catch him when I was in WWF the first time. He was changing tickets, yeah, and and I didn't know what he was doing because every time we'd have a layover, he would be at a ticket window. I said, "What is he doing?" And they said, "What?" And they finally told me he takes tickets and he changes them into his name. He may upgrade it, but the ticket comes in his name. So he just, he would actually just cancel the ticket or find a cheaper flight. He would cancel that ticket and take what was left on it. Some of those tickets were like $800,000, $900,000, where if you knew what you're doing, you, you could get the ticket for two hundred. So he'd get it in his name, cash it in, $1,000, he'd leave. Because the WWF's name was never on the ticket. It ended up in his name, so therefore, if he wanted to change it or get a refund, he could. Yeah, WCW specifically, not WWF. Uh, <clears throat> uh, also, again, I'm- again, you're right. You're yeah, right because I, I, I n- listen. What's the motto here? Never, never let, the, let truth. the truth get in the way of a good story. But someone, I don't know where I heard this, but it was recent that Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan tell stories like the internet doesn't exist. Ha <laughs> ha